grandson, Zachary, uh, celebrated his bar mitzvah earlier this year. And a week before that bar mitzvah, the rabbi asked both grandmothers if we would each share in a few paragraphs, a life lesson that Zachary could carry with him. Len asked me if I would share my words with you, so here they are. Zach, you and your family chose today, April 3rd, as your bar mitzvah date. Today also would have been Grandpa Jules, Pop Pop's 76th birthday. I thought it would be appropriate to share a life lesson that can be learned by looking at how he chose to live the last years of his life. At age 48, Pop Pop was diagnosed with ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. At the time of his diagnosis, the life expectancy was one to three years. So this diagnosis was particularly devastating. One day a year later, he lapsed into a coma. He did awaken, but at that juncture, he was told that he could choose to die or he could go on a ventilator because he could no longer breathe on his own. We talked and I said that if he did choose the ventilator, I would help him, but we had to be together on this going forward. And so we created our mantra. We would do the best we could for as long as we could with as much dignity as we could muster. Instead of that one to three year life sentence, he lived for 15 years. He even got the chance to meet his first two grandchildren. He did the best he could for as long as he could with as much dignity as he could muster. Sue, Len, and I go back a long way. We all grew up in Cleveland. We went to the same high school. And I know we went through uh, Roosevelt Junior High School and Heights High School. Uh, Len and Sue have always been of help to uh, everyone that they meet. I'm so pleased to join you today in honoring them for the many miles they have ridden in my husband Jules' memory, for the awareness that those those rides created and for the dollars that those rides raised to help fund ALS research. Dearest Len and Susan, heartiest congratulations on this well-deserved acknowledgement. So I believe it was Len and Susan's first uh, bike trip for ALS. I met Susan and Len Lodish in the summer of 2020 when they were biking through for their 25th anniversary ride. But on that journey, we became dear friends. I was really impressed with them and really grateful that they were able to take the time to meet with our team to explore the care services and the research that we're doing at the medical center, including my work on brain computer interfaces. I have known Len since I was a first year MBA student at Wharton in the 1980s. Our family has supported Len and Susan's first amazing bicycle ride for ALS from coast to coast in 1996 and their 25th bike ride and all in between. I'm so happy to join you today celebrating Len and Sue's remarkable achievements in riding their tandem bike for charity. It is a great honor for me to pedal with them in Turkey. Susan and Len, thank you for continuing to inspire us and thank you for all that you've done and continue to do. With or without awards, I know what remarkable human beings you are. They are great people. They do great things for humanity. I'm proud of everything that you've accomplished and you're both so impressive um, and I adore you. I hope Len and Sue will keep on writing. One day when I'm old enough, I will join you. We will never forget Susan and Len Lodis. They have always been a great inspiration and I am so thankful that our children know them so they can be inspired by their lives and their efforts for ALS.